So you wanna break into the tech industry, but you're having a hard time because you don't have any professional development experience. You heard about open source, but you don't really know where to start. Today, I've got some really exciting news. Um, Javid and I created this application called Leap Party, which I'm gonna show you a little bit about. It's basically uh, an application, it's a Chrome extension that you can use to compete against your friends on Leap Code. You make a room, uh, select a problem, a bunch of your friends join, and you guys compete to discover who can come up with the best Leap Code solution. And that includes like correctness and runtime and all of that kind of stuff. It's a really cool app that Javin, who's at Uber, and I created all by ourselves. But we've been so busy lately, we've been thinking, we haven't had time to dedicate to make this app even better. So we decided finally that we're gonna open source the project. I'm so excited about this because I've been telling people for a long time that they're gonna be able to write code for this really soon, really soon, but it hasn't been open source. So I finally just open sourced the project. I really want you guys to help make some features for it. So go to the description. There's gonna be a link to the GitHub and there's gonna be descriptions in the readme on how to set it up. I'm also gonna make a video here on how to get your development, your local development server set up. And I cannot wait to see what you guys make. Now, why do you want to work on this application as opposed to other applications? I'm going to tell you about some of the technologies you're going to use. So on the back end, our database is a PostgreSQL DB. Uh, we're running Node.js with um, Express, of course. And on the front end, plain old JavaScript and jQuery. Um, so it's actually quite difficult to use a framework with a Chrome extension. So we decided not to use any framework. It's actually just bare bones JavaScript all of the components we wrote ourselves. And how do these two things talk? Well, it's not over regular HTTP um, connection calls. It's actually over socket IO. So we're using web sockets, which is um, a way that we can pass data from the server and the client on the same connection. Uh, if you don't understand what that means, don't worry. Um, I can explain it in the setup video. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool technologies here. We're deploying it with AWS and for anyone that adds features to it and wants to see them deployed in real time, I'd be happy to jump on a call um, because I'm gonna be in charge of the, de the deployment process. I really, really wanna see this thing get big. Right now you can only do one game in one room. So once you create a room, um, you can play one game and once that game is over, you have to create a new room. The next thing we wanna do, the very next project we wanna work on is making sure you can retain one room across multiple games. So you and your friends can play not just once, but twice, three times, four times, as long as you guys wanna play. Then we wanna get into the space where you're not necessarily competing against your friends. You can compete against anyone. We wanna add video and audio so you can talk and see the people you're competing against. We wanna go so many places with this application, but we are so busy, we can't do it all ourselves. We need your help. Now I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have about how to get it set up. If you have questions about how to implement things, I'd also be open to offering you suggestions and you can create a PR and I will gladly review it and you can get your code running for 200 people. Please go ahead, find that link, get set up and I cannot wait to see your pull requests. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Tech Intern.